Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here. And um, I just wanted to show you guys this email I got from, or this private message on YouTube. Um, it's from Sincerely Proto Beast. Uh, when do you think you can upload the packaging tutorial? It's been forever since you've uploaded something, and I really need it. Well, uh, Sincerely Proto Beast, uh, since you've been sending me message like two or three, asking me to do this tutorial, and I've been actually receiving several other messages to do this tutorial. Um, I think I will do it right now. School's out, everything's good. Let's do this tutorial. Alright, so first thing you're going to need to do is open up Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. And then you're going to want to create a new project. Windows Forms application, of course. I'm going to name it School Out Tutorial. Woo! Alright. So we named it, now we just wait for it to load. Alright, now that it's loaded, we could actually start redesigning our form. So, what we're going to do is, since this tutorial is on how to uh, package programs that run external programs, we need to actually make this run an external program. So, we're just going to make a simple button, which will run a specific program. So I'm just going to minimize the form to the button, That's that's nice. Button 1, I'm going to change the text in the Properties panel. I'm just going to change it to Start. Alright. Okay, so now that I've got my form configured, now we want to find out what program we actually want to make this program run. So, this is going to be a, um, a quick high taskbar on and off program. So, this will be kind of fun. I already have the program copied on my clipboard the program that I want to run. So what you want to do is, first thing, press File, Save All, save it somewhere cool. Yes, and then Build, Builds the EXE. Now you want to find out where you actually uh, built it to. So mine's in my Dropbox, Visual Studio 2008, Projects, School Out, and then you want to navigate to the bin and debug and release folders. In the debug folder, you just want to paste the um, exe, and you can rename it. Uh, I'm going to rename this to program.exe. Remember that program, all lowercase. All right, and then you want to do the same thing in the release folder. Oh, okay. I'm just going to copy this program.exe and throw it into the release folder. Alright, so now that you realize it's in the release and debug folders, um, this is where when you debug, like press this little green arrow up here, it runs the program from the debug folder, right? So it's going to be running this. But then when you actually build the program and run it as a standalone EXE, it's going to be running from the release folder. Okay? So now to enter our coding. We're just going to double click on the button and we're going to use the shell command which um, runs external software and then in parentheses is located in uh, it's located in the directory of the program so first we want to get the directory of the program so my dot application this accesses all the information about the program we are creating dot info all, all the information again dot directory path this is exactly the path where we save the program to. So it's uh, project slash this, this, and then bin, and then debug or release. Okay? And then we're going to add slash program dot exe in quotation marks. Alright, then we just close those parentheses. And that's it. So once we've got that, we're going to actually make this a little different. We're going to make it so it says hide and then once you click it if button one dot text equals hide then button one dot text equals unhide else button one dot text equals hide 
Alright, so this pretty much just changes the button text. Pretty easy coding. So now we're going to save the program and build the program. And now we can test it out by going into the debug folders, which is there. So we're just going to press the green arrow. So this is pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is hide the taskbar. So we just press hide. And if you notice down here, the taskbar is gone. But the buttons aren't for some reason. But the taskbar itself is gone. Now, it, if you notice, it changed the text to unhide. So if we click it again, it unhides the taskbar. And the thing that actually unhides the taskbar is that standalone executable that is, uh, yeah, that's that I managed to make run. All right. So we know that's working. So we're just going to exit out of the debug. And then we're actually going to go into the release folder and check out this standalone exe. Hide, unhide. It does the same exact thing except it does it a lot faster. All right. So now we can exit out of Visual Basic because we don't need that anymore. And then we're going to use all these to package them into one like one folder. So first thing we want to do is actually make a new folder. I'm going to call it uh, school out hide taskbar. And then you're just going to take all this junk, copy it, and throw it in this folder. Alright? Then you can right click on this folder and create a, or put it into a zip file. A zip file, you can do this several ways. Um, if you download the program called WinRAR, which the link will be in the description, uh, you can just click a click button, add to archive, or you could press send to, and then compress zip folder. But I'm going to do it with WinRAR, just to show you. So I'm going to press add to archive, or archive actually, sorry. And then I'm just going to check zip instead of RAR, press OK. All right, and now it is in its own little zip folder. So we can copy and paste this and put it wherever we want, and people will be able to access it. So if we take this and open it up with WinRAR, we could actually extract it to the desktop. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go back to the desktop. And look, here it is, School Out Hide Taskbar. So I'm going to double-click that folder and run our program. And look, hide and unhide. It still works because the standalone executable of the high taskbar program is still in the folder. Alright, well thanks for watching this tutorial that was long needed that I never really got around to, and thanks tons to Sincerely Proto Beast for sending me these messages and reminding me. Alright, everybody, have a great day, and I will talk to, talk to you later.